What leaves tastes good like a beer should. You said it. Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. <laughs> Try a frosty cold glass of Bavarian right away. What's that you say? No boulder dash or baloney here. Cheers, everyone, and welcome to the Unfiltered Gentleman. And now, with a higher BAC than your ABV, Greg, Scott, and Dan. That's right. Welcome in, everybody. It's us. It's we. Most importantly, it's them. It's the Unfiltered Gentleman. I am Greg. Over there is the resourceful presenter, Scott. Presenting? <laughs> and senior Spielbergo. It's muy bueno. Ah, uh, hola. Si, sí, muy bien. <laughs> Tacos. That's what uh-huh. I had for dinner. Uh huh. Uh, thank you guys for listening. Thanks for joining. Like I said, don't forget to find us on all the socials and the grams and everything at the Unfiltered Gentleman, as well as Unfiltered Gents on Twitter. Uh, anytime you're posting on the on the grams, tag us and don't forget to hashtag show us your beers. We have a different show for you tonight. It's summer. We are deep into summer. It's hot. We're sweaty. I am in my kiddie pool with my bowler hat on. It is <laughs> fantastic. And Don't. so I thought we, <laughs> yeah, I thought we'd talk. <laughs> excuse me about some summer beers and uh, what we've been sipping on this summer and what's been cooling things down. But in order to do that, I thought we needed a little help from some friends, just like the Beatles did. So joining us in real life, sort of, is our good friend Allie. Allie, how's it going? Hey, hi guys, how's it going? Hey, it worked. Wow. <laughs> It only took yes. two hours of prep to get this going. We're good. <laughs> At least, yes. Yeah. We've been uh, on the phone tech support all day. And yes. uh, apparently, <laughs> yeah. Allie broke her cup holder. It's, she thought Uh-oh. it was a cup holder. It's CD-ROM. But anyways, uh, we're here. We're drinking beer. So let's, I guess let's just get right into it. Like I said, it's an all-summer beer episode. Going to tell you what we've been sipping on this summer and uh, what we've been up to and all that kind of good stuff. It's just a nice little quick show for you. So uh, let me kick things off with something summery. Grab your libations, pals. It's time for Beer of the Week. And if you're drinking well, you know that you're my friend. And I say, I think I'll have myself a beer. I am having myself a beer that I was so excited for the return of. I am drinking Stone Brewing's Notorious P.O.G. Brewing. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> Love Dan that. remembers my obsession. Hell yeah. <laughs> this baby clocks in at 4.7%, has a, I think, a underrated 3.88 on Untapped, and a 91 on Beer Advocate. This was my beer of the summer last year. Well, not on the show, but I, I found it late in the summer season and couldn't get enough of it. So, uh, from Stone, they say, we've had plenty of fan-favorite beers over the years, but few have garnered the cult-like adoration of this one. Stone Notorious POG was originally brewed at our 10-barrel Liberty Station brew house in San Diego as a collaboration with comedian actor Jonah Ray. It's a tribute to the passion fruit, orange, and guava, a.k.a. Pog, he grew up drinking in Hawaii. This Berliner Weiss-style ale is loaded with the aforementioned trifecta of fresh, tropical fruits, making for a unique flavor that's tart and refreshing, yet deeply rich and complex. It's as ridiculously tasty as as it is deliciously unique. Easy for me to say. This beer was first brewed with Jonah Ray for HopCon 4.0. It was such a hit that we decided to brew a limited amount again this year. Jonah grew up playing Pogs while he was living in Hawaii and drinking Pog juice. So he wanted to create a beer with Pog in mind. A very refreshing chart ale with plenty of fruit character, passion fruit, and guava intermingle with an intense orange punch. And that is all absolutely correct. I, in fact, when I first sipped on this as it came out this year, I thought, this seems a little orangier than last year but i'm okay with it this thing is pure summer beer it's just a hint of tart i feel like i'm just drinking straight up pog juice have you guys had pog juice before no in it never Allie ever had pog juice i have not no it is literally my favorite thing when i was in hawaii it's all i drink pineapple orange and guava and excuse me passion orange and guava um cannot get enough i just drink it all day long and then it's really good if you like dump a bunch of vodka in there too um so when they when stone came out with this yeah i I couldn't get enough and this year they've come back with it it's 4.7 you can sit in the kiddie pool with the bowler hat on and just drink it all fucking day so much passion and orange and guava on the tongue it doesn't taste like you're drinking the beer in the best way possible let me get a little sip right here hold on a sec 
So you've been doing a lot of that, like the kiddie pool this summer? Yeah. That's great. You know, it's our, good luck um, on you. Oh, thank you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the neighbors love it, too. I bet. With the um, the main pool in our complex being closed down, it's it's kiddie pool or bust. I mean, I guess I could turn on the sprinklers or something, but uh, kiddie pool or bust. And I've been sitting in there, and we have a tiny little patio, and the dog just looks at me like I'm fucking insane. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, well, let me in. He's not <laughs> <Right>? wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, the dog hates water. Our dog fucking hates water. We have to put a life vest on him and throw him in the water when we're at the lake and stuff. <laughs> oh, he refuses to get off the boat. It's uh <laughs> it's bad. So, um yeah. So, I'm I'm drinking this with my staycations cuz I'm certainly not going anywhere. I don't think we're allowed to fly. Do you guys uh does anybody have any trips planned? No. Nothing planned. I was saying, Allie had something oh, yeah. planned. Though. Yes. I am yes, and remember you and Wendy were trying to tell me that we weren't going on it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so uh, you were right. It got canceled, <laughs> but <laughs> it's been rescheduled. <laughs> oh, oh. Bon Can voyage, September 3rd. Yes. Bon voyage. Oh, oh, I'm wow, going to Europe. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> shit. What do you think? Let's see. <laughs> yeah, we'll, I still we'll think see how so. that goes. I still think it's going to happen. I, I hope for you that it happens. Yeah. That would be fun. Do you have any fears of, uh, you know, flying with the Rona or anything like that? I don't. No. Mm-mm. No. Nah. Here's my thing. I don't have any fears of that. I just kind of wonder about everybody else and like how things are, if they're going to be closed, it's still social distancing. Like you're not going to really get the experience of like rubbing elbows with the locals when you have to be six feet away from them. You know what I mean? Like that's kind of a bummer. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. It'd be like waving at the locals. More you than know anything. what I mean? Ah, oh, man, that sucks, man. But at the same time, if I'm given the opportunity to get out of Dodge, then I'm going to take any opportunity oh, yeah. I can get. Any you vacation right now will work for me. Anything. Everyone's yes. going bananas right now. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. And I feel like even in a cup, you know, by then it'll they'll have everything figured out. Even now they're starting to take your temperature everywhere you go and I hope so. They're doing like the um infrared scanning at the oh, airport yeah. and that kind of stuff. And yeah. the government's, you know, taking your blood type as you walk in, all that sort uh-huh. of stuff. Yeah. So uh what what part of Europe? Oh, uh, we're going to go into Barcelona and Ooh. it's a cruise. So it's a Mediterranean cruise. Okay. Yeah. Oh, cool. I've, been to, I've been to Barcelona. It's a Barcelona. Great city. Get some tapas in Barcelona. Yeah. Had yeah. a lot of tapas. And yeah. dude, there, there are kids, like kids on the street selling beers for a dollar. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> like they weren't great beers, but they were dollar beers. Sure. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Um, all right, Allie's got a beer to talk about. Let's uh, let's see what she's drinking over there. Choke it down. Oh boy, <laughs> son of a bitch! Really? <laughs> that was that was your intro. <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, it could have been on the news. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's fucked up, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to. <laughs> Did you? Uh, no. I am drinking some humble sea right now. The Santa Cruz Light. It's mm. an American lager, and it does not have quite the write-up description that you have. It is... Lucky you. Quite simply, a 3.83 on untapped, 4.5 ABV. It's an American lager. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Rough paragraph to Woo. get through. I chose the perfect beer. I know. You should hook Scott with that beer, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why? Scott has you. <laughs> That's why. So I don't have to read so much. <laughs> yeah. I can't read. Too many words. So tell us about uh, Santa Cruz Light. Oh, Santa Cruz Light is uh, it's a classy, crushable lager. It's, I mean, there's not really much to say about it. It's very light color and smells like a beer, tastes like a beer. It's very classy. <laughs> very, very classy. It can be hard. You know, we have uh, Integrin on the show very often. It's hard to uh, discuss lagers sometimes because... When they're yes. done right, they're just they're just clean and crushable, and they're fucking delicious. Right, and I don't mean to sound so generic and basic right now, but there's really not a lot more that you could go into about this. It's just a good fucking beer. It's good for summer. Yeah. It's good for poolside. It's a light ABV. You know, it's it's perfect. It's very very good. Did you get this? Did you order this from Humble Sea? Well, I actually had placed an order with Humble Sea, which was delivered probably about two weeks ago now, and um, okay. we have a bottle shop in San Diego that sometimes will get some distributions of Humble Sea. So when I found out that they got a little bit more, I went and got some more because I it's it's just it's just a great light crisp lager. So I needed a refill. Nice. Yeah. Allie and I's mutual friend Jason lives up in that NorCal area, and he's always posted about Humble Sea. I was like, hmm, during the Rona, people are shipping. Yeah, he gets it shipped also. 
Oh, is that how he gets his? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he gets his shipped also. See, I saw his and I was like, that sounds delicious. So I looked it up and I was like, ooh, they're shipping. And I ordered myself some Humble Sea. And I didn't get the lager, but I got some of their foggy IPAs. That shit is delicious. Their foggies are delicious. So good. And I like that they're foggies instead of hazies. That I love it day. too. I love it too. Mm-hmm. I love their foggies. Which ones did you get? I got Foggy and the Furious because I okay. love the name. Uh-huh. Uh, Socks and Sandals. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Sensing a pattern here. <laughs> right. <laughs> And I cannot, the other one was a double, is a double, double dry hopped foggy, and I cannot remember the name of it. Okay. Was, it wasn't the Mr. Foggers one? Mm, I don't think so. Does it have a Mr. Rogers replica on the can? Oh, shit. No, I don't think it did. Maybe, God, you know what? I'm being a horrible beer person right now. I don't okay. remember. That's okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I do remember That's that okay. it was delicious. Their foggies are very delicious. They are. They're really good. And they're not chunky like those East Coast. Right. Oh, hazies. gosh. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Gents, have any, either of you ordered any beer yet? Any deliveries? No, no beer deliveries yet. I had Stop. a delivery, which I did not order. Oh, yes. I just stole it. <laughs> no, it was ordered for me. Right. So that's kind of an ordeal because I've never had a delivery before and happened to be present to sign for it because it's alcohol. And then I almost panicked and like... You know, burnt the town down because I thought somebody else took it. And so, because it, it was supposed to come on, well, it came on Wednesday and I wasn't home. So they, I rescheduled it for the next day. It's four hour increments. I'm only home for like two hours between jobs. Right. So, of course, it came when I wasn't home. But I get this text message while I'm at work saying, hey, your beer is delivered and you signed for it. You know, enjoy. And I'm like, wait a minute. And I look, I'm looking at the signature. I'm like, that's not my signature. Who took my beer? And I was a little upset. <laughs> So when I get home, I'm looking for it. It's not here. So I go to our office, which has been closed since the Rona started. So, you know, they're not going to be of any help. Um, I, let me backtrack. When I was at work, I called the company that was supposed to deliver it. And the lady was just a, a total bitch on the phone. It was like, well, I can't help you. And I would give her the like all kinds of as much information. As, I give her a tracking number. I give him eh. every what time I type? give her some information. Sorry, can't help you. Sorry, can't. Wow. call the call the company that's supposed to be sending it. It's their responsibility. So I just you know I, I gave it's up like, on sir, that. Sir, this is a McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Your chocolate shake is not ready yet. Uh, so when I got home, and I serve I alcohol here. <laughs> Where's your McBeers? Yeah. <laughs> So when I got home, I couldn't find it. So I finally called again. The lady was much more helpful. That's good. I gave her the tracking number. So she goes, let me check. She goes, okay, I see where it was delivered. Let me call the driver, see what's going on. So I'll either have him come back or I'll call you or he'll call you. Something's going to happen. So a little while later, she calls. She goes, hey, yeah, my driver left it with your neighbor. And I noticed my neighbor passed out. So I figured, oh, okay, well, he got it. So <laughs> never mind. Guilty. But, yeah. But, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. long story short, I, I, I finally got my beers and, and they're gone now. They yeah. didn't last long. Funny how that happens. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I don't know who mm-hmm. drank them, but I woke up one morning and they're all gone. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, they're good good stuff. It's it's like the best thing for me that's come out of the Rona is this beer delivery shit because I've been ordering like crazy. This week alone, I made two different beer orders, some pre-orders. It's It's been phenomenal. I hope this keeps going. I agree. Local ones will deliver for five bucks. If they're not local, shipping is usually like 10 to 12 bucks. It's There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. I think I, I think I was so stressed out because I think that somebody else stole my beer that I, I drank them all as fast as I could so nobody could steal them. Mm, that'll happen. <laughs> you had to hoard them. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No shame. Couldn't take a chance. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. He hoarded them in his liver. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's uh, let's see what Dan's drinking over there. He's heating up. Yep. I'm on fire over here, dude. I hit four <laughs> in a row here with my uh, my multi pack here from Slow Brew. Uh, so this one is the. They start ha- paying you yet? I- I'm waiting for the checks, man, to come <laughs> yeah. in. It's crazy. It, it, this one I had is uh, and it's perfect for summer. Is the Hazy Honey Blonde, and uh, this one is coming in at 4.5 percent ABV, 15 IBUs. So mm. a, a, an uncharacteristically non Dan beer here. Yeah, and uh, it's 3.54 on Untapped, and uh, they have a short description on Untapped. I'm just going to read from the can here. Uh, this refreshing ale is dripping with raw California orange blossom honey, for subtle sweetness and a crisp aroma. Smooth, easy drinking, and perfect for a sunny day at the beach. Our hazy honey blonde is the bee's knees. And um, 
I dig it, man. You know what's crazy about it being uh, hazy and honey is it kind of takes like a like a champagne kind of color oh, yeah. and and even a champagne kind of mouthfeel too. So it's like really fizzy, not real you know flat or anything like that. And I can get with this, man. You know, there's low ABV. You could just sip on this all day and you're good to go. Yeah, kitty pool all day long. Uh-huh. Uh, is there uh, any comparisons with that and 805? Ooh. That's that's a good one. I, I I don't know. You know, I think like I said, uh, the the hazy kind of makes it like uh, a little lighter, a little more champagne-y, a little more classy. I think a little mm. bit. You put it in a glass, it looks pretty classy. And um, <laughs> he even got his pinky you, out. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't yeah. mess around. That's yeah. right. So and uh, and like I said, the mouth feel real champagne. It's like the champagne of beers over here, <laughs> but in a good way. Uh-huh. <laughs> good stuff. I like it. Nicely done. Easy to sip on all summer long. For sure. Uh, that Here's what I remember about the slow honey blonde. It didn't used to be called the hazy honey blonde. I think that's a newer thing. Right. And if my memory serves me correctly, their honey blonde was the inspiration for 805. See, then then that would make sense because this is a little different. You know, even mm-hmm. just pouring it, I saw it. It was like, oh, wow, look at that that color to it. I like oh, it. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the day, 805 was a honey honey blonde ale. Mm-hmm. And then as it gained popularity, they dropped the honey blonde thing and just they called it. Oh, really? Ale, I think. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's not honey blonde anymore. I haven't had it yeah. in a while, I guess. So. Not on the label. Yeah. They, they dropped that. And I don't know if they have honey in it or not, but uh, the pack right. dropped that. So, um, yeah, good time. So so a good one for uh, the hot days. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I can dig this one. We can dig it. <laughs> uh, and then to round things out, Scott's coming in with uh, with something hoppy. I just picture Scott coming out right now in his Speedo. That's exactly Speedo. what's happening. Yeah, yes. Exactly. Yes. Just Picture dancing. It no more. Here I am. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I saw it more like a game show. Like it comes out like with a sparkly yeah. like suit on or something, like Bob Barker or something. Well, the speedo can be sparkly. Dawson yeah, sparkly from speedo. Uh, Family Feud, yeah. kissing all the ladies. Yeah. Sparkly Spe- suit from the uh, waist up and speedo from the <laughs> oh, waist down. Yeah. Walking in like Donald Duck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure. Can't, can't co-sign that. He doesn't wear pants yeah. at all. Yeah. Uh, let's get off that topic. So Scott's drinking <laughs> Santa Maria's. Yes, we're all gonna throw up now. Uh, Santa Maria's Tap It Tropical. Iron that Dink. suit, please. Yeah, uh, and this one's interesting. You you had a Tap It on the show not too long ago, the last few months, and once again, Tap It is no longer a brewery. They got bought out. Well, they changed their name to Santa Maria, and so I was surprised to see that they're still keeping some of Santa Maria's or uh, Tap It's branding on there. So it's the Santa Maria Tap It. Tropicali Dank. It's a oh. tropical West Coast IPA. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 6.8%, 60 IBUs, has a 379 and untapped. From the brewery, they say Tropicali Dank is a very flavorful hot forward IPA with big tropical flavors and aroma of grapefruit and melon, which pair nicely with the big dank pine notes from Eureka and a hint of mint. The finish is dry, leaving your tongue with a hoppy, resinous lingering of strawberry, stone fruit, and citrus for the freshest flavor, store below 40 degrees. And it even has uh, what you can pair it with, and it says big, robust meals such as roast beef, beef wellington, and Swiss steak. I don't know what the hell Swiss steak is. That was my next question. <laughs> it's like steak with holes in it? <laughs> what the fuck is that, man? Steak that comes with really bad instructions. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and meatballs. So how's your Tropicali Dank? Oh, it's very delicious, very tropical. And yes. uh, it's my, you know, my jam. It's, you know, the hoppy, I got good hops in there. And yeah, fruits, a little bit of fruit stuff going on. And is it, in fact, dank? It is dank. Oh, mm. oh we. Yes. Ooh. I, could, <laughs> I could use danker, but it is dank. Oh. Puff, puff, give. Yes, I That's like right. the dick. <laughs> what about that Wait, mint? Can you pick up on the mint? The mint? I yes. meant to, but I didn't really uh, get it. Hey, yeah, yeah. There's that. <laughs> there is. I no, I really, I didn't get any mint. It okay. No. It said it had well, a mint liars. finish. Yeah, they yeah. are liars. <laughs> I'll never drink this again. I find that hard to believe. <laughs> now I'm a liar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So is this a good poolside? Indeed, beer? it is. I would say you wouldn't turn down. True, I wouldn't. Side, I so. would turn down the pool, but I wouldn't turn down the beer. And not <laughs> yeah, the speedo. What right. about what? What was right. the ABV on that one? 
That one was, I believe, six. Yeah, six point eight. Okay. Yeah. So a little big for a poolside beer. I think had, that's a little. Yeah. I think I'd be a few tits of up if I had a couple of those. <laughs> yeah, sugar tits up after a few of those ones. <laughs> sugar tits up. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, that's our uh, our summer beers for the summer. We're not allowed to drink ever again until fall. Sorry, guys. Wow. Wow. This is the night I submit my resignation. That's <laughs> harsh. Yeah. yeah. I think I'm a <laughs> one and done. Myself. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Al- Allie's first here. and last episode. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All that IT support for nothing. Right. I'll send you your microphone back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Allie, thanks for hanging out with us. Thank you, guys. Thanks for having me. Yeah. It's been fun. I'm glad we got it to work. I think this was the perfect let's uh, kick Allie's tire show. And uh, Oh, well. yeah. I agree. Thanks for being Thank here, you. Allie. It was awesome. Thanks for kicking my tires, yeah. guys. Yeah. Oh, no, it was fun. Can't wait <laughs> to beat them up. Tires. Yeah, we'll beat up your tires next time. It'll be great. Oh, mm. boy. Wow. We'll jump them. Okay. I don't know how that works. I don't even know what that means. So, I don't, uh, yeah. Thanks, everyone, for listening and for joining us. Find us at theunfilteredgentleman.com and at the Unfiltered Gentleman on the socials, at Unfiltered Gents on Twitter, and go find Allie at Allie in Cali, A L L Y dot I N dot C A L L Y on the gram. That's pretty much all you got, right? Just the gram. Uh, just the gram and TikTok. Does gram. that count? <laughs> you know what? I don't know how to use TikTok, so it doesn't count. Oh, game changer! <laughs> so good. I'm not a I'm not a 14 year old girl yet. Oh, <laughs> days, so oh boy! I'll, I'll work on my not TikTok yet. game. So, uh, all right, everybody, thanks for listening. Thanks for joining. Let us know what you're drinking this summer. Tag us in some summer beer posts. We'd like to see what you're drinking. Hope everyone's staying very well hydrated. And on that note. Good night, everybody.